knowing, but uh, yeah, I'm oh, confident. This is it. This oh, is it. Oh. We'll just leave it there as Mick Schumacher hits the wall. Two tires. You cannot tell me. What is going on, guys? It is JJ here, back with a new video. And today we're going to take a look at the qualifying highlights from the 2022 Saudi Arabia Grand Prix. Obviously, we did a live stream on uh, on YouTube, uh, pretty much going through the entire Saudi Arabia Grand Prix. It was an extremely long one, um, mainly due to the crash from Mick Schumacher um, and the crash from Nicholas Latifi. Insane qualifying in general. Saudi Arabia Grand Prix is nutty and I'm not sure it's nutty in the best ways. So let me know what you guys thought about qualifying. We're going to take a look at the highlights. Uh, let me know your favorite moment, your biggest shock. Obviously, there's a lot going on, whether it's Lewis, whether it's Checo, whether it's the Ferraris, whether it's Max, whether it's Mick, whether it's Latif, everything. There's so much going on in this. It, it was an amazing, amazing qualifying round. And I'm looking forward uh, to the Saudi Arabia Grand Prix race tomorrow. So be sure to check back out on the channel. Uh, we will have a stream for that. The stream will be of better quality than the one that we had today, which you can check out that stream. Uh, it's The link should be popping up here. Um, so go check it out. But yeah, let's get into the video. As well, guys, you can find the original video down in the description below. And it will be blocked We've out. We've got I a do red apologize. flag. So the two Ferraris um, that were about yeah, to go this was, yeah, right the to the top crash, the first have crash. now had their laps abandoned because Nicholas Latifi has Latifi. crashed oh, out of the circuit. Goodness, there is Nicholas Latifi, and he has gone a long, long... Uh, the thing is, I feel so bad for Nicholas Latifi. He, he definitely did not deserve... I mean, the back of his car just gave out to him. Right. Like, he gave out. There was Into nothing he could have barriers. done. There was nothing he could have done. Taking the corner at about uh, God, that miles helmet an hour. Oh. Oh. Took his hands off the steering wheel and I'm not surprised either. The helmet cam makes it look so bad. I crashed, guys. Kim, you okay? You okay, uh, Kim? Yeah, I don't know how the rear just let go there. Yuki, there is something... Uh... Yeah, and then Yuki Sonoda, the only one to survive the Bahrain Grand Prix, drops out of qualifying in this one. This sucks so Pierre much. Pierre Gasly goes fifth fastest, and Hamilton now becomes the driver in Lewis, the bottom Lewis, Lewis, five. Lewis, Lewis, Lewis. And whilst he's setting personal bests, are these personal bests good enough to get him out of that bottom five? We shall see as he crosses the line. No. Lewis Hamilton currently down in 16th. Currently in the bottom five, Sonoda, Latifi, Hulkenberg, Hamilton, and Alex Albon. Keeping out of the way, Pierre Gasly, as Hamilton makes his way around oh, the final corner. As Fernando Alonso so goes 11th fastest, lifts himself out of trouble. He'll see the chequered flag, Hamilton, and he goes only 15th. So behind him, Stroll is still on a quick lap. And there comes Lance Stroll, Stroll, and he goes 15th, and the Aston... Lewis! He didn't even explain what happened the either. Martin he went in the interview the and pretty much said, out I, of I don't qualifying. know. I think he, it's he just, a big shot today. here in Saudi that, Arabia that's tonight. That's a bad explanation. Lewis Hamilton, George Russell Russell got the best for the first the time since could, Brazil car, 2017, been has been knocked out in exactly Q1. Exactly that. Exactly that. Massive just George disappointment rocking. for Lewis. Um, you know, I it's thought that insane. if anyone can do it on that last lap, on a, you know, five laps in, it's Lewis Hamilton. But uh, he gave it his all, but he's out. Turn seven Only way he makes up for that is if he does good in the race, Ricardo, to be, the to car be completely front, frank with you. Noted by the stewards. I have blocked me completely. I really like Daniel Ricciardo, but I have to say, <laughs> he's going to get a penalty for that. I hate to predict because we're not that far off knowing, but uh, yeah, oh, I'm this is it. This oh, is it. Oh. We'll just leave it there as Mick Schumacher hits the wall. Oh. Two tires. You cannot tell me. I'm happy he's okay. I'm guessing concussion. Um, it was scary. That was a diabolical crash. It's an absolutely diabolical crash. And he, it just starts uh, from him smacking yeah, the curb. He hits the curb oh, too hard. Oh. The back wheels oh. just we'll came just out. leave it there. As Mick Schumacher hits the wall, two. Oh. Tires I, I coming loose crash. as he I'm, hit the I'm wall so as well. Okay. And yeah. that is the second red flag of this session. 
dude, I don't, I don't want to. Yeah, I don't want to see that now. again. To be completely frank Along with you, so we move on. Czech we move on to Q2. Stays fifth fastest should be good enough for him. Next across the line will be Kevin Magnussen, who K goes Mag, in to lap. the top Ocon ten, pushes Pierre lap. Gasly uh, down and into eleventh. Next across the line, Valtteri Bottas six, making six his own in 2022. And we're now on board with Esteban Ocon, who got impeded earlier on in this session by Daniel Ricciardo. The stewards looking at that as Carlos Sainz goes to the top with a 128.6. Ocon trying to get out of the bottom five. Hasn't had a chance to set a representative lap time until now. Has he made it count? He has. He's gone into eighth place. Pushes Mick Schumacher out of the top ten. Pierre Gasly then Rendell goes Norris into the top ten. Lando Norris out misses out George Russell as Daniel Ricciardo can only go insane. 12 fastest. And can Joe Guan Yu get himself into the top ten? No. 13th for him. So Lando Norris... What is up with McLaren? What is up with McLaren? The Google, the Google hubcaps could not save Daniel you here, Ricardo mate. Daniel Ricciardo for McLaren miss it's out. Extremely unfortunate. Not by much, just a few hundredths of a second. Through turn 22 uh, goes Charles Leclerc. And Charles now, Leclerc, it's foot signs. flat to the floor. Oh my God! Until the breaking zone into the final corner, and then foot flat to the floor once again. The, the tricky part, you think by now, has been done. But as Max Verstappen proved in the final part of qualifying last year, this corner can still be a bit tricky, but it's been widened this time around uh, to give the drivers a bit more of a fighting chance as they exit the final turn. There's your benchmark, there's your provisional pole for now, a 128.4 for Charles Leclerc. But what about his teammate, Carlos Sainz? Sainz has never been on pole before, is on provisional oh, pole now so by just four one hundredths so of a second. Bro, oh my Alonso's gosh. gone fourth fastest ahead of Gasly and then Magnussen. Here comes Checo Perez. Checo. Where can he Who put his Red Bull? Right up at the front of the grid. Only third. He lost time in the final I mean, sector. Right there, I wasn't only thinking. third fastest I was not thinking for Sergio get it. Perez. All eyes now turn to Max Verstappen. What happened to Super Max? What? It felt, it felt on like his all first day, push lap. He's not getting He'll anything know, out of the tires. I'm sure that his teammate Sergio Perez has gone third fastest. There's enough screens for the drivers to look at around here, and they do that uh, around the lap. Trust me. Sainz, Leclerc, Perez, and Verstappen, who backed off right at the end and is only sixth fastest at the moment now making his way George Russell towards too. the final George Russell corner. Too. He the was just not getting anything at turn going. 27, you take it at about 62 miles an hour. Slow, slow corner. Then you can get the power down. DRS will help you towards the line. George Russell crosses it and does go fifth fastest. Splits the two Alpines with a tidy, tidy lap. One more corner to go and one to more exit to go and gets as close as he dares to the barriers and that looked pretty Charles neat as well. Leclerc Looks down it. at his dashboard, he knows that he's up, he foot flat to the floor, it. Charles oh, Leclerc crosses the gorgeous. line and he's back on provisional gorgeous pole. Finish. What about his teammate Carlos Sainz? And Sainz, Sainz can't quite time. produce a oh, lap to match was, his teammate. Listen, wants. I'm so heartbroken for Carlos Sainz, I'm so heartbroken for him because second race in a row. Charles Leclerc has taken Again, the pole position from him on the last one, two ditch for the time being. On the last As Leclerc chance. on provisional pole, trying to get pole for the second Perez, week in a row. In but two. here now comes Sergio Perez. Purple in the middle sector. Perez has never been on pole in his Formula One career so far. Uh, and it's a, a career finish. that takes him to 215 qualified finish. seconds. Oh, Sergio Perez puts his Red Bull on pole by just two one hundredths of a second. Perez could be celebrating a first ever pole unless this man can stop him and it's Verstappen across the oh line Verstappen's two only on the second row second. Sergio Perez at the 215th time of asking has put his George Russell's going to start in 6 George Russell P6, Lewis Hamilton P16, Checo Perez finally gets his moment in the sun. It's what he deserves. And it's great to see. I'm happy I was able to watch it live. Uh, I did not realize that he's never gotten a pole position before. This is me being newer to F1. I, I love every bit of this qualifying. It's going to be an insane race tomorrow. Be sure to check out the channel for the live stream. What a race it is. What a day. What an absolute day. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you to everyone who joined the live stream and then still came to this video. You guys know it was crazy. I appreciate you guys. And peace.